G'day guys and welcome to my Ultimate Trees installation guide for 2020. So we're going to get straight into it, um, but before we get on to the good stuff, there's just a couple of uh, mods and also files that we need to download and install in order for Dindulod to work correctly. So we're going to get straight on to part one, set up. So I did want to mention that I'll leave links in the description below for all the files and mods that you need for this guide and I'll also include timestamps for the different parts so you guys can quickly and easily navigate between them. Okay so first up we need SKSE64 and I'm sure most of you guys already have this and are running it um, but if not uh, you'll get it on this page, so current SE build 2.0.17, runtime 1.5.97, so that is the latest SKSE file uh, for the uh, latest game version. So download that one, and then you need to know where your Skyrim SE game folder is uh, in order to install SKSE. So in my case, I have the um, Steam version, so it's in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim, Special Edition. And you know you're in the right place if you see these two files down here, skyrimse.exe and also the skyrimselauncher.exe. So we simply open up our SKSC64 download, open up the first folder, and then all we need to do is drag the bottom three files which is the two .tll files and also the .exe file and drag them straight into our game folder and I already had them so I've just replaced them and then the only other thing we need to do is grab the data folder at the top here and also drag that in and as you can see I already have it so I'll just quickly replace those files and done. So that is SKSE 64 installed. And next up is Papyrus Utility, which is found on the Nexus, as you can see there. So just be aware that this is a uh, game dependent. Um, so you can see the uh, most current version is always going to be at the top in main files. So if your game is current, then uh, just download the um, this main file and you can install that as you would any other mod using your mod manager and the next one is sky UI um, this is not a hard requirement but it certainly helps because it gives you um, some functionality in the um, MCM menu uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to say uninstall uh, Dindulod, uh, maybe you want to get rid of it completely or you've just uh, updated your tree setup and you want to rerun Dindulod. Um, Sky UI just makes it a lot easier to uh, actually do that so I recommend that you get it if you don't already have it and just install that as you would any other mod. And next up we need Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. Um, this is a hard requirement. If you do not have this, uh, Dindulod will actually stop running and will throw a message to you letting you know that you need to get this. Um, so you get it at this website here. Um, all you need to do is click on the Community uh, 2019 version and that will automatically start downloading. So you just double tap that and it has its own installer. So that's um, pretty simple and easy. Okay. Next up, obviously we need a dindy lot and you can now find this on the Nexus and you'll see we've got two files here. We've got dindy lot which is the standalone uh, file and then also dindy lot resources SE. We need both of these. So uh, the resources SE is quite simple. You simply uh, download and install that with your mod manager. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. Um, as you guys know, I use mod organizer 2 and I already have both uh, Dindulod and its resources downloaded. Okay, so there's Dindulod resources. Open that one up. All right, 
right so just click next and here we've got a couple of options so I usually select all of these um, if you think you're going to have problems with say performance there is a, a low res uh, LOD textures option here for um, a performance version of the resources and I also choose a desync birds of prey and click install okay that's finished it will be in my unchecked folder so there it is down there ginger lot resources se select that and there it is down the bottom there okay so next we need to grab the main um, Dingilod standalone folder or should I say file so this one's a manual download so we have to actually install this one manually so we'll go ahead and do that now and the hardest thing about this is really deciding where to put it um, I like to keep it away from my Skyrim SE game folder I usually put it in my D drive and all we need to do is open up the zip file we've just downloaded and simply drag it across to wherever you want to put it. And there it is down the bottom there, so that one is now installed as well. So what we need to do now is add the executables uh, for Dindulod and also TextGen into our mod manager. So for Mod Organizer 2, just click on the Gears icon and we'll do TextGen first. So obviously we'll call it TextGen. So the binary, you need to remember where you've just uh, installed Dindulod. So open up the folder and you see you've got the TextGen EXE and also TextGen64 EXE. So if you've um, got a, a newer system then obviously you'll be on the x64 version so select uh, whichever one of those you need and start in I just choose the uh, Dindulod folder itself and in the arguments section we need to put negative SSE all lowercase and no spaces that'll just enable text gen and also Dindulod to run in uh, SE mode and use applications icon for shortcuts yes why not add and we should see it should see it uh, in the list here there it is there text gen okay so we'll do that again for Dindulod this time So the binary, it's back in the same place as before. Just remember to grab the right version, either the .exe or the x64.exe. Start in the Dindulod folder. Arguments, same again. Negative SSE, all lowercase, no space. And use applications icon, add. And that should now be on the list as well, which it is down the bottom there. And I just remembered too, we haven't actually uh, added SKC64 into this list, so we're just going to do that right now as well. And we'll call it SKC. The binary, you might remember, it is in our Skyrim SE game folder. Um, I have that saved in my quick access here. And there it is down the bottom, SKC64 loader.exe start in we'll just choose the uh, Skyrim special edition folder and use applications icon for shortcuts why not add so now we should be able to run SKC from mod organizer as well there it is down the bottom there so obviously um, with a modded game um, every time we run Skyrim SE, uh, we run it through SKSE, which is being run through Mod Organizer.
So now we're getting on to the really good stuff. And the first mod you're going to want to grab is HD LODs Textures SE. And you'll see there's a few different versions here. We definitely want to get the Dindu LOD version. So that's the main file there. Uh, just be aware there is a performance friendly version um, down in the optional files too, if you need that. Um, so I've already gone ahead and downloaded the um, Dindu LOD version there from the main file. So we'll just install that one now. If I can find it, there it is there. And like always, it will be in my unchecked. And there it is down the bottom there. Okay, uh, next one is Terrain Lod Redone. So this is quite a big file, 1.1 gig, uh, but well worth it. Obviously that's going to improve um, the look of your distant uh, terrain lod um, out of sight. So download and install that one as you would any other mod. And it may take a while, quite a big file. Okay, that one looks like it's done. Okay, so there it is there. And next up, we want to grab Blubbo's Trees in Whiterun. So as you saw from those clips, uh, this mod adds quite a nice mix of aspens and pines to Whiterun and in my opinion is one of the better Whiterun tree mods. Uh, so there's three files we need here. We need the main file and that comes in two versions. Uh, you've just got um, standard Whiterun but then you've also got JK Whiterun. So if you are running JK's Whiterun or JK's Skyrim, then grab that second option there, which I have done. And then in optional files, we actually want both these as well. So the first one is more trees, and then the second file there is trees outside of Whiterun. So I download all three of those, and we'll go ahead and install those now. Okay, so that's the white run version right there. And we also want the more trees version. And also the trees outside of white run. And there they all are there. Select those back to my checked. And there they are down the bottom there. And next up will be a White Run Forest Borealis. So this adds a pine forest right through the tundra region of Skyrim and the thing I like about this mod is the trees aren't huge and uh, there are quite a few spaces uh, as well. It's not um, overpowering um, so you still get some um, gorgeous views 
Uh, you still can get lost in the forest, but um, it's not overdone, and I really like that about this mod. So you just want to grab the uh, main file there, and we'll go ahead and install that now. And there it is, down the bottom. So the next one is Bent Pines. So this one doesn't require too much explanation. As the name suggests, it adds some rather large bent pines to the tundra region of Skyrim. So we'll go ahead and uh, install that. And there she be. Okay, now for the big one. Enhanced Vanilla Trees. Okay, so there's two files we need here. Obviously the main file, so download that one. And the third file down in old files is Enhanced Vanilla Trees Billboard, so we want to download that one too. And we'll just go through uh, installing both of those now because there are quite a few options and I'll just show you what to choose. So first up is the uh, main file. Okay, so uh, we want to grab the enhanced vanilla meshes. Um, I'll probably suggest that you grab the uh, darker meshes um, for this setup. And next, so here's where I would select custom trees large. And I would also select Enhanced Tree Clutter um, and also Firewood Textures. And down in Alternative Trees, we want to actually select SFO Snowy Pine Trees. And this next section is to do with um, greener bark and alternative textures, so we just leave all that unselected. Uh, billboards is ticked, click install. Okay, there it is down the bottom there. Now, even though it did install billboards, um, they're just standard uh, 2D billboards. Because we're going to be running Dingilod 3D Ultra Trees, we do need that second file. So we're going to install that one now. So that was the um, uh, Enhanced of Vanilla Trees of Billboards. And we do have to select the same options that we selected when we installed the main mod. So we had Custom Trees. Uh, we're not using realistic aspen trees. Uh, none of the alternative textures. Uh, we do want to select the lush verts snow trees though. Uh, we didn't select any of the greener pines. And we do want to select large. Install. Uh, 
and there it is down the bottom and you can see it's just uh, overriding some of the files from the uh, main file on Hans Vanilla Trees which is what we want and next on the list is a tree pine forest branch 8k which is going to make our pine trees look just a little bit better So this mod comes in 2K, 4K or 8K. Um, I have tried all three and I didn't notice any major performance difference between them and 8K definitely looked the best close up. So I would suggest uh, you probably go with the 8K version. But um, yeah, if you don't think your system can handle it or you're trying to get some performance back, then uh, maybe try the 4K or even the 2K. It's still going to look better than um, the enhanced vanilla trees uh, pine needles so we'll go ahead and install that one now So you'll see that is overriding enhanced vanilla trees, so obviously that's overriding the um, branch textures uh, on the pine trees. And next up is enhanced landscapes, oaks standalone. So we only need one file here, it's in the main files, it's the second one down, ELOS Oaks Mixed Greens. You'll see it has uh, the new ultra lods and billboards included with it. And I just wanted to mention too about the uh, autumn colours uh, option here. Um, I did actually try that and unfortunately it doesn't include the uh, ultra lods and billboards for the uh, autumn colours. So your oaks from a distance will um, have the uh, the green color and then as you get close they will turn red so a little bit immersive breaking so I would suggest you just stick with the oaks mixed greens so a download and install that one as per normal and there it is sitting at the bottom Next on the list is Reach Tree Replacer. So basically what this mod does is add leaves back to a lot of the dead trees that you find through the reach and I believe just make it look a hell of a lot better so really important mod this one. And we need all three files here so we need the main file obviously so download that one and also both the optional files the reach tree replacer SSE billboards and also the Dindelod ultra tree lod file as well. So download them and install them in order. And I'll just go ahead and do that now. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we've got the reach tree placer, then the uh, billboards, and then the dindu lod, ultra tree lod at the bottom. And next on the list is trees add on. So trees add-on SE adds uh, quite a few new trees into the uh, mix which I think gives this whole setup uh, a bit more variety which I think is important. So we want uh, both the main files here, we want the trees add-on SE, uh, download and install that one first um, as per any other mod and then the first one as well the trees add-on billboards, um, download and install that one a second. So I'll go ahead and do that. And there they both are down the bottom. And next on the list is Enhanced Landscapes. So enhanced landscapes is a really important ingredient in this uh, tree setup. Um, it gives us the ability to make the tundra region uh, into like a green grass um, and green landscape lod area. And uh, those two things actually blend in really well together as you've seen from my previous videos. Um, so much so that um, looking off into the distance it's actually quite hard to um, work out where the grass finishes and where the uh, landscape lod starts uh, which I believe is really important. Uh, so I'm really enjoying the uh, the green tundra look at the moment, hope you guys are too. And also um, Enhanced Landscapes does exactly that, it adds some um, new areas and new locations um, into the, the world of Skyrim uh, and just makes it um, a lot more interesting. So we've just got the uh, main file that we need here, so download that one and we'll go through the install process. There are quite a few options for that one. Okay, so um, optional files. Um, so we want to tick better plant textures. Um, the grass overhaul is actually the, the grass side of this mod so that will um, uh, replace all the grass right through Skyrim basically um, and it is a really good grass mod I'm running it at the moment so if you guys want the same look as me then choose that um, if you have your own favorite grass mod that you're using uh, by all means stick with that um, and then I choose enhanced solstheim ash trees and down here green fields um, again if you want the exact same look that uh, I've got at the moment then you definitely want to choose green fields but if you're not really into the, the green tundra look um, then don't select that one obviously. Um, I also tick the lod noise texture and there's a patch there if you're running immersive citizens and install. And there she is. Okay, we're almost there guys, just one more to go. And that mod is Lush Forests of the Rift.
So I've tried all the Aspen Tree Replacer mods and this one is by far my favourite. Um, I like the uh, green colour but it's also uh, not too bright. Um, I find a lot of them are just way too bright, um, especially if you're running an EMB, that's where I seem to have all the trouble. Um, they're bright to the stage that they're almost fluoro and they don't look that realistic. Um, so this is by far my favourite. So we need uh, two files here, both in the main section. So we need the green and lush aspen trees. So download that one and install. And then we also need the green and lush aspen trees billboards. So download and install that one a second. I'll just go ahead and do that now. And there they are sitting at the bottom, Lush Forests of the Rift and Lush Forests of the Rift billboards. Okay, so believe it or not, uh, that is all the mods we need. So next we're going to get on to actually running TextGen and also Dindulod. Okay, so if you guys have followed along correctly, then your tree mods should look like that. And we've just got a couple of things we need to do before we actually run uh, TextGen. Uh, first up is we need to sort out our plugins because all down the bottom here um, it's going to be a bit of a mess and not sorted at all. So I'm just going to quickly run loot and sort that out. And you really need to make sure that you don't have any warnings here as well. If you do, you need to uh, cycle down, find out what it is, and sort it out. Um, if you have any errors in your list here at the moment, and you try to run Dindulod and jump into game, then you're most likely going to have problems. Alright, so that's got them sorted. Uh, next thing is we need to... Um, deselect um, any patches that we might have um, such as a merge patch like I have up here and also a bashed patch uh, they don't play nicely with TextGen and Dindulod so we need to deselect those and now is a really good time to actually jump into game um, you can check out your trees if you like um, just be aware that the distant lods are going to look pretty ordinary and you'll probably get a lot of pop in um, but you need to basically get to an interior space and make a save. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and run TextGen. Okay, so once it's finished loading all our mods, um, it will come up with this little box here. The only thing you really need to do is decide on your LOD texture size. Um, as you can see, it starts at 256 and it does go all the way to a 4096. Uh, just be aware that the higher you go, um, the more performance it's going to use. So I'd suggest um, probably the middle ground, 1024, to start with. And um, once you finish this whole process, if you've got plenty of performance still, uh, next time you run TextGen and Tindulod, you can just crank this up a little. And just click Start. And this will take uh, quite a few minutes to complete. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, eight and a half minutes. Uh, obviously, it will take longer if you choose, say, uh, 2048 or 4096 textures. So, uh, once it's finished, you'll get this little message down the bottom, completed successfully, so you can exit. And now we need to go into our uh, Dindulod folder, which for me was in the D drive, Dindulod. And you're looking for the uh, TextGen output folder. Open that one. And that's what we've just created there, the textures folder. So right click on that one. And you want to actually um, zip it up. So add to archive. And we're going to call it uh, TextGen Output. Uh, 7-zip store, OK. And there it is there. Alright, so we can go ahead and install that one now. There it is there. 
And I like to put this one just underneath the uh, Dimdy Lord Resources SE, uh, right up the top there. Okay, so next is running a Dimdy Lord. So we're going to be using uh, Dimdy Lord's 3D Ultra Tree Lods, and there's just two things we need to do in order to make that happen. So we need to go into the Dindu Lord folder and then into Edit Scripts Dindu Lord and then down the list here you will see a Dindu Lord SSE.ini so open that one up and one, two, the fourth, uh, fourth section down. We want to change the uh, tree lot equals one to tree lot equals zero. And don't forget to save it. And you can close that one down. And the other thing we need to do is go into the cache folder at the top here. And we need to delete everything out of that folder. And that step there, we actually have to do that every time before we run Dindu Lod if we're going to use 3D Ultra Trees. And that is it. So now we can go ahead and run Dindu Lod. Okay, read the effing manual. Uh, you'll see all the manuals there. Um, I do suggest you do that just so you've got a better understanding of uh, how all this works and also for troubleshooting purposes if you do have any issues. So it's going to OK that. And then we come to uh, this page. Uh, if you don't see this one initially, it's the advanced page. So select um, advanced page and you'll eventually get to uh, this one. Okay, so top left here we need to select uh, Tamriel. You've got a low, medium or high setting. Uh, if it's your first time using it, try medium um, just to see how your performance is. I'll select high. And then if you cycle down in this middle window, trees are at the bottom. And you'll see in the LOD4 column, we've got static LOD4. Uh, that's exactly what we want and then lot 8 is billboard and lot 16 is also billboard So generate static lot selected create texture atlas selected and this is where you can actually change the size um, It goes all the way up to 2048 I would suggest you start at uh, 1024 and again see how your performance is uh, you can always uh, rerun these programs and um, crank them up if you've got plenty of uh, frames left over. So I'll choose uh, 2048 for this one. And if you're running any sort of uh, EMB, they tend to lighten things up quite a bit. So I've always found if you are running an EMB, then you probably want a brightness. Um, this is for the distant tree lord. A brightness of between minus 3 to minus 5. Um, I'm just going to go with minus 5 straight off the bat. Um, but if you're not really sure, start at zero and see how your really far off distant trees look. And if you want to darken them up, just start going into the negatives here. And you'll see uh, the generate tree lod box is not selectable. That's because we're um, running 3D ultra trees. If that box is selectable, then you're not running the ultra tree lods. And you've done something wrong, so you need to backtrack. So we want to generate Dindu lod. Uh, Yep, so I have that ticked. I also go Windows and I also choose Fake Lights, Child Worlds. And that is it. So you can click OK and Dindu Lod will do its thing. OK, so Dindu Lod took 23 and a half minutes to do its thing with this current setup. And once it's finished, you'll see this message down the bottom here Dindu Lod Worlds completed successfully. So you can click save and exit. And like with TextGen, we now need to go and zip up those folders and files that we just created. So back into our Dindu Lod folder. 
and this time we want to go to Dindu Lord Output and you see you've got five folders slash files there so we want to zip all those up together highlight them all right click uh, I use 7-zip uh, add to archive and we'll call it Dindu Lord Output so the name's already there beautiful 7-zip uh, store OK Okay, that's finished. Uh, it's around three and a half gigs, so a fairly big file, really. So we just want to install that like we would any other mod now. There it is there. And you want to keep a dingy lot output right at the bottom of your list. And over in the right hand side, you'll see we've got a dingy lot ESM and also an ESP. You want the ESP at the bottom and the ESM uh, up near the top with the other ESMs. Oops, what happened there? Okay, so it sits around about there, just uh, above campfires for me. Alright, that is it. Uh, just remember too, if you did have a uh, bashed patch and a merged patch, you might want to uh, re-enable those now, which I'll go ahead and do. Just drag them down near the bottom where they should be. Okay, so now we get to jump into game and uh, once Dindu Lord's loaded up, uh, check out our new trees. Or you just enjoy slowing down the hard working folk. Oh, he's so rude. Uh, once you get back in game, you should be in an interior cell. Um, as I mentioned before, you want to have a save inside somewhere. And you need to bring up your MCM menu. And you'll see we've actually got Dindu Lord already on the list, but there won't be anything under it yet. So we just jump back out of there and wait until we've uh, got a new uh, mod listed in the MCM. Anytime now, guys. Anytime. Hello. If you need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim, you're in the right place. If you want to buy something, go find Savjorn. Otherwise, piss off. Oh my god. Speak to the owner, that dude is so rude. Okay, there we go. MCM registered one new menu. I'll just go back in there and have a quick look. Back to Dindu Lord. And you'll see now I've got some options underneath there. So just go to main. And you'll see it says Dindu Lod is active and it's not actually selected. That's because we're inside. So, now we can uh, jump outside. Alright. Um, things are already looking pretty damn good. And we've got a message there. Dindu Lod successfully initialized. So we can just go have a quick look at it again now. And you'll see it says Dindulod is active. And I'll just uh, tick the large references fix as well. Alright, so you should have um, amazing trees now guys. Let's just uh, have a quick look here. Let's see what we've got. Uh, hell yes Beautiful all right, so there's only one more thing to do now and that is to go through the uh, uninstallation process So maybe you want to uninstall Dindula completely or maybe you've changed your tree set up a little bit and you want to rerun Dindula um, You need to go through this process. I'm about to show you in order to uh, keep your save game um, good basically and so you have no trouble with it. So first of all we need to go back into the uh, MCM and down to Dindulod main and where it says Dindulod is active you need to uncheck that. That's it. And then we just need to wait for a little message to come up. Anytime now. There it is Dindulod deactivated. 
click OK. Once you've seen that message, you go into an interior world space. So let's visit this rude guy again. Okay, so once inside, you just make a save. And then you can exit out of game. Okay, so once you're out of game, if you're going to be rerunning Dindu Lodge because maybe you've changed your tree setup, then all you need to do is get rid of the Dindu Lodge output. Uh, but if you want to uninstall Dindu Lodge completely, then also get rid of the uh, Dindu Lodge resources SE and also the text gen output. Um, I don't want to actually uninstall it all at the moment. Uh, so what we do next is basically jump straight back into game and we load up the last save that we made. Okay, so we'll get this little warning saying that Dindulod ESM and Dindulod ESP is uh, missing. So just click yes, we still want to load this game up. And then you simply need to make a save. And that is it, Dindu Lord uninstalled. Okay guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoy your new Ultimate Tree setup. And uh, if this guide helped you out in any way, then please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. And also, uh, please endorse the mods that you've used, um, because the modders here are the real heroes. Without them and their awesome work, none of this would be possible. So thanks for your support guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.